everybody. This is Red Rocket Cells. Um, we are here to do the vase pour from our interactive that you guys all were in on. Um, I'm basically going to do this from beginning up until the part where we do the epoxy, which that has to wait approximately seven to 10 days for the paint to dry on the vase and the painting, um, or the canvas, excuse me. So um, the only thing I've done is taken the vase over to the sink and wash it. So I'm gonna start at that portion next. Um, that, my next step on that would be, as you can tell, I've already got my gloves on um, because at this point you do not wanna touch the vase when you start this process. Um, what I have in this little spray bottle is 91% um, rubbing alcohol. And what that'll do is remove any uh, oils that would be deposited from my hands or anybody else. So let me get it out of this cup real quick. This is just what I typically do. You spray it down with alcohol. Like I said, this just gets any oils off of it. Take any napkin that you have or a rag. I typically use a napkin because it's just easier. Just wipe it down and put it back on there. Let me go ahead. I've already got the wax paper set up on the table. Um, on the bottom of the canvas this time, we have applied huge... I got my hand in the road. Um, <laughs> thumbtacks, I guess. Uh, push pins. Uh, instead of using the little red solo cups that I normally use, these should make it easier to do the pour. Oh, wait. Before I do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, one of our push pins came out. I'm sorry. Let me do the paint because you guys were all curious about how we do the paint. All right, so you guys had requested me to put the paint from beginning to end so that way you guys could see how I place the paint in the cup. We have a regular nine ounce solo cup style. So these are the colors that you guys had picked that one. So we're gonna show you how you put the paint in the cup. Um, basically, um, first in is last out is how it goes. Um, so let's see, what should we put in first in? We will put in pink. I just take it. These are regular condiment containers I pick up at the dollar store, two for a dollar, dollar and a quarter now. And I just take it and squirt it in. I have it hit the side of the cup. As you can see, it's just hitting the side and just pour it in. And let's go to silver next. Shake them up as you go to always make sure it's well mixed. And just hit in the same spot that I was hitting the pink in. So that way it just goes in. Of course, it looks like the pink's getting more in there. But as you can tell, honey, you want to focus in on that? Silver is now on top of the pink. And I'm not going to use a lot of the black because I don't want it to overwhelm the lighter colors on this. So I'm just going to do a little bit of the black here and there throughout the pour. I think we'll do the green next. This is going to be a unique color scheme on this one this time. Green. Okay. And yes, I will go back and use the colors more than once. I'm just trying to do um, larger amounts at any one time. That way there's not so much of the smaller rippling. We'll do this gold. I like the silver and gold because it'll give it the metallic colors throughout it. The other ones are a uh, matte color. They don't have the metallic in them. Okay, let's go for purple. And as you can tell, if you look at the side, you can see it's starting to like layer a little bit. It looks like a, what's that ice cream called? Neapolitan. Yeah, Neapolitan. And if I'm making people sick, I'm sorry. I'm actually freehanding this phone in the air. My arms are probably going to be tired when I'm done. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another touch of pink. Do silver and green again. Now remember when we do this. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. 
I apologize for that, guys. My green got clogged there a little bit, and I wanted to clean it out. Sometimes you get a little bit of a clog in there with the paints where it sits in there. I tried to clean them up a little bit earlier, but it still did it. We'll do a touch more black. Mm -hmm. Do a little bit more white. Let's see, there goes my white getting a little bit clogged. I hate that. Should shake them every time, but I don't always do it. Let's see. It's still clogged? Yep, it's got that clog right in the tip of the. Right in the tip of my spout. You can just yeah, pour a little bit in there. Yeah, you. just pour it. Spout makes it easier sometimes. It definitely looks like Neapolitan ice cream. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to actually turn out really pretty. And don't forget what I was saying a little bit ago is that anything of the waste that comes out goes from the vase to the painting and then to the wax paper. And I do reuse all of that to make um, jewelry and um, just multiple other things. I'll do it on the bottom of wine glasses and stuff like that. So every bit of it is reused. I don't waste any of the paint that comes out and anything like that. So, all right, I think that'll be good. Let's set these over here. Let me close up my white. Because I just poured it all over my hand. If we need more for anything else, then I can always make up a little bit more in the cup. It's not a problem. Okay. So put that on the wax paper. Put the vase on the red or the black cup on top so that way it can drip a free fall off of that. And then we'll move it over to the wax paper. And I'm just gonna let this go straight down. I'm not going to circle it or anything like that this time. This being a bigger vase, I might. Oh no, it's getting there. Yeah, it looks like you got enough. Yeah, I'll set that there for a second. We'll see what our side look like. This side's almost covered. Yeah, this side's. And it's covered. Okay, this side's got a few couple more Pretty inches. Little. Oh, that's cool. This stays like that. Yeah. We will let that drip for a couple of minutes. One last thing I forgot to show you guys is after you get done doing your painting, um, I have a butane gun. Please don't mind the look of it. It's been through a lot with me, as you can tell. Um, you torch it. That way you get out any air bubbles on a painting because um, you don't want the air to be in it. It'll, it can distort your painting. So you just light your butane and you just lightly go over top of it 
and it will get any air bubbles out of it. Um, that's just a good practice to do. You just go over it one time. That's all. Thanks, guys. Sorry. Just want to add, please like and subscribe. Yes. And exactly. comment on our videos. This will be our first YouTube video. Yep. So bear with me. I'm still learning how to run to use editing software. But for the future, you will want to be a subscriber to our channel. Trust yes. us. Thanks. We appreciate everything. Thank you. Bye.